Alrighty. Good morning, guys. What is going on? And welcome to another video. Um, today we're gonna talk about the new Aero Rest. This on here is the QAD um, Ultra Rest HDX. Um, it's very, very nice. I like it a lot. Get you guys a little bit closer of a look here. Other than what B B roll you saw of it. It's really nice. It's got a nice little. If I can get it in frame, nice little rubber piece. Um, right here that you flip it up with and it's really smooth and it just feels amazing it's also really quiet you'll hear it in a second but it's really smooth i enjoy it a lot and uh we're gonna we're gonna shoot her here in just a second and i just fletched up uh finished fletching up a couple more of these um, eastern axis four mils or five mils with some uh, 100 grains out the front for flesh on the back. And that's actually why I got this vest is because um, I wanted something, I'm gonna back up so I'm actually in frame. Um, so I wanted something that would work with these new arrows and these four fletchings, because I really love four fletched arrows and my old vest, the um, Hunter, it would knock the back of my fletchings and it would just cause a huge tear when I was trying to paper tune. So I ended up dropping the 144 bucks on this vest and so far, I'm really, really liking it. And we're gonna shoot it here and see what we think of it. So a little bit different filming spot, just something different, you know. Let's uh, grab a range. All right. Let's see. Something like that. And uh, I've been shooting my thumb button for a little bit, but I'm gonna shoot my hinge today, just back into it. For hunting season, I'm going to shoot a uh, shoot a thumb button, but let's see. So I noticed the first thing is when you're putting it up, it's super smooth and the it has so much better locking of the arrow in terms of this little arm that goes around. Um, you'll see it a little bit bigger than what I can right now. So all right, let's draw this back and let's listen to the quietness of it. Um, I'm going to shoot this one and then I'll give you a little sound comparison of what it used to sound like with one of the old videos. So it's be really quiet. Hopefully there's not much wind noise, not too much bird noise, but let's see here. Oh, it is very, very smooth and very quiet. Um, I don't know if you can hear. That's it when it gets lifted up, dropped. There's a piece of plastic flying around, but I might have to go grab it. But it is very, very quiet. So far, I'm not getting it a lot. Um, shoot a couple more here and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. These are new arrows, so that's why I'm cocking the knock around and cocking my fletchings so they're how I want them, but now it's nice and quiet. I'm hitting arrows down there. I might have just uh, broken a knock off an arrow. We're out at 40 yards. I can't, can't tell. Really hope I didn't. Let's get one more arrow down there and then we'll talk a little bit more. Go see how my shots look as well. Okay. Gonna aim left this time. Okay, let's go uh, look at these things. I'm shooting right, so I'm gonna just bring my sight. Cat to the right. Anyways. Let's go, uh, let's go take a look at these arrows. Okay, so, talking over to this little group here, and, uh, that is a really, really tight group. Out at 40, I'm really happy with that. This one I did shoot left, obviously, um, but those are some slapping arrows right there. And if you tell me these arrows don't look sick, um, well, sorry, but they look sick. 
if you want to see this error build it's going to be um, right in this top corner right here click that card and uh, head over to check that video it will be it'll also be in the description below if you want to stick around with this video but we're going to pull these arrows and then we are going to uh shoot a little bit more and maybe talk a little bit more about them huh and these uh food points also these eastern match grade food points quite easy to get out of a bale of hay i don't know about 3d targets but looking pretty good got a quiver full of them as well so Let's uh let's head back over, get you on the trap pod, and let's shoot a little more. Okay, so I took a couple steps closer to you guys, um, just so we can get a little bit better view of this um, rest. In fact, I'm gonna actually switch you guys over to the other side here in a second. But let's uh shoot four more, and then we'll get you to the other side and see what we think so far. Um, I got this rest set up at Shields. Amazing people up there got a paper tune and it's shooting really good. So I do highly stress it as of right now, but I have only shot it for about a day or two. So we will see in a couple months come hunting season. So we'll just talk. Just a touch right. My rest got bumped. Anyways, it is this little rubber piece right here is so smooth. Um, it is seriously amazing. So much better than the Hunter, which is a $60 versus $140 rest. So I would hope so. These areas are flying really good though. And they look good too. But I'm not focused on areas, we're focused on the rest. And um if you can hear it, it is really quiet and there's zero bounce back, which is amazing. And it drops so dang quickly. Even my short draw length high poundage bow doesn't mess it up. I will say these four fletchings are a little bit loud. Um I don't know if I'll hunt with it. I'm gonna shoot them for a little bit, and I might end up switching to the uh, AAE uh, Max Hybrids. Or the okay, so um, I am not too sure how much I actually caught of that last uh, shooting clip. Um, my camera battery died, and I just swapped it for a new one. So what you saw is what you saw. Um, I'm gonna go pull the arrows, and then we're gonna switch up shooting positions. So let's go pull them. Coming over here. I already walked like halfway because I didn't want to carry the tripod on the way. But there's, the, there's the group right here. Set you up on the tripod. That is pretty good. Um, that is about as good as you're going to get for me. So I have a UPS truck is here, but I can fit basically my hand around it. The main group is right here. So let's pull them and shoot again. Boom. We got them all pulled and uh, let's go shoot. Switched up the angles a little bit. So shooting, well, what, like 35 yards now. Um, let me go ahead and actually range find it here. Yep, 32 yards. So let's shoot this and you'll get a little bit better view of this arrow rest. Let's see here. I will say these arrows fly so much faster than my last ones. Um, the last chronograph we were working with was 280, and now we're doing 300 with these new arrows. Although they are four fletched, they're um, a lot lighter and a lot thinner. They're five mils instead of six. So let's send it. If you guys have any tips on my form, please let me know in the comments below. I'm still learning, I'm still learning how to shoot, and I'm still the new. Newbie, I'm getting there into the amateur, I'd say, but we're working on it. Get a couple of things. Still late. Light and high. Well, probably because I didn't move my sight. I'm shooting for 38, and I'm actually at 32. That's why I'm high.
We'll just leave it at that. Let's get it going. This, uh, I will say, this little rubber piece for your finger, so much more grippy and it just feels so much better. It's dead quiet too. I'm actually going to uh, mute when I when my arrow hits the target, just so you can kind of hear the arrow rest and just go without the target. It's pretty quiet, huh? Basically, the loudest thing is my hinge. So. If you guys are enjoying this kind of content where we shoot first and then we're talking after in the room, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please, I'm open. If you want to see anything in terms of archery, um, anything you want to see on this channel, let me know in the comments below. I'm open to suggestions. Oof, that one was high. That one was really high. I should end up moving my, I should have moved my sight here, but it's okay. Anyways, send a couple more down there. We'll get some B-roll and then we'll head to the room and talk about why I chose this one. One more down there. This one I'm actually gonna aim a little off so I don't hit any arrows. No, Bo got a little jumpy there. Well, I said I'm gonna aim off. I did not aim off at all. I'm gonna put my bow down and then walk over there and look at him. Here we are at the uh, target here. See, my whole group is pretty high. And my main group is right there. My main group, excluding these two, because these two I know I pulled, is right here. Again, about a hand width around it. And if we pull these two, it's not bad. I mean, for 40 yards, I'm not Chris B. I ain't no Levi Morgan. Pretty happy about that. And yeah, <laughs> these arrows are super easy to pull out of this target as well. So I'm really happy about that. But um, let's head inside after this B roll, B roll, and we'll talk about why I chose that rest over like a ham ski. Um, Epsilon or the Integrate. Okay guys, we're back in the room and uh, let's talk about this vest and why I got it. So. As you guys saw, this is the uh, QAD Ultra Vest HDX, and this I got it from Shields for 144 without tax. And sitting on my bow, it sits really smooth against the back here, and it's mounted on the side. So why did I choose this vest over, say, a Hamsky Epsilon or anything like that? Well, one of the main things is price. This vest comes in at like 144, 150, um, 160, depending on where you are. The Hamsky Epsilon comes in at 270. Um, there's a bunch more <coughs> vests that I could have got. Um, there's some limb driven ones. There is, let's say, the uh, Ultra Rest Integrate that is integrated into the Hoyt so it sits really flush, but that one was also around $200. Um, am I opposed to spending that much on a rest? No. Would I like to spend that much money on a rest? Not really. Um, so that's why I settled on this one. Let's. Um, Let's talk a little bit more about this vest though. So this vest weighs in at uh, 0.6 pounds. So just a really light vest that won't add a lot of weight. Um, and it comes left and right handed and it fits on basically any um, bow. They make a Ultra Vest um, HDX um, integrate for the Hoyt bows, Matthew bows, and I think they have a Bowtech or PSC. I'm not sure, but that's the more expensive one just because it integrates into your riser and it does sit a little bit smoother um, unlike this one where it sits on this bolt back here it would actually sit and mount just right here onto your riser so there is that but again it's not that bad and the micro adjust on this is really nice again it doesn't have clicks but you can shim it and it's really smooth when shimming it paper tuning this thing was just a breeze um, you just crack open 
couple bolts and it has some lines on it and an arrow that's a really fine arrow um, that's right on the back of this thing and you can just shim it left and right and you can paper tune perfectly same with the vertical and a lot more vertical um, than on the hunter and the reason I got this was speed my bow 68 pounds 27 inch draw length so short draw length high poundage bow you're going to end up hitting some fletchings with bigger fletchings especially a four fletch like I shoot um, so I picked this up and the first time we shot it, we had nothing straight out of box. We just had a little tear left and a tear down. Um, so we fixed it and it's shooting amazing. Um, no fletching contact at all. And it's just working really well. I shoot a 25 and three quarter inch arrow. So they are really short arrows and this drops extremely quickly and it drops fast enough that I don't get any vein contact and it doesn't bounce back either. Um, it's just when it hits. And when it drops down, it just drops. It doesn't bounce, it doesn't do anything weird, it doesn't hit my riser. Um, it's really good. Another thing that I had with the Hunter when I was um, shooting it, if I would let down and I would let down too fast, my arrow would jump out of the um, riser or the rest. It would be kind of annoying. Not a big deal, but if I'm hunting and my arrow drops out of the riser, that's going to make a lot of noise. Now, if I do have to redraw quickly, I won't have confidence in doing so. With this, the arrow sits really, really flush inside of here and it can't come out. Um, let me just grab the closest arrow to me is a four millimeter long range. So let's slide this in there. And you can see that this, even this four mil, it's gonna have a really hard time. Like I have to, I have to push really hard for it to come out. So it, it's not coming out. And with a five mil, it'd be even harder to come out. So. I actually do have a 5 mil, it's just not fletched yet. But let's slide the 5 mil in here. And yeah, the 5 mil, look at that. It's not coming out. As much as I bounce it around, I try to knock it against it, it's not going to come out. So I have a lot more confidence in hunting with this rest other than the, um, rather than the regular hunter. So that's why I chose this. Um, that's basically it for me. If you want to see another video on it, uh, let me know if you want to see a video on just my whole bow setup now. Um, anything like that, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, peace. God bless y'all. And um, subscribe if you're not. Share it with a buddy if you think you'd like it. Or she'd like it. You never know. Ar Women in archery, there's some really good people out there. Um, so if you think they'd like it, you know, share it with them. Drop a like. And uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless y'all. Peace. And uh, mucho besos.